猪八戒 eats watermelon. Tang Sun, Sun Wukong, Zhou Bajie, and Sha He Shang took a journey to the west for the scriptures. One day, it was extremely hot. They were tired and thirsty. You have a rest for a while, and I'll go pick some fruit to quench your thirst. Count me in, count me in. If I go with Swin, I can eat fruit sooner, and I can eat a few more. Ha ha ha. 猪八戒 followed Sun Wukong and walked a lot, but they didn't even find a small sour pear. He felt unhappy. Ouch! Ouch! What happened to your body? Stomach ache. I can't walk. When you find some fruit, don't eat it all by yourself. Sun Wukong knew that Zhou Baijiu was being lazy, so he ignored him and turned a somersault to the South Sea for food. Meanwhile, Zhou Baijiu found the shade and was about to sleep. Suddenly, he saw a green seed at the foot of the mountain. So he walked over and took a look. Aha! It was the big watermelon. He was so happy, and then he split the watermelon into four with his hand. The first piece is for Tang, the second one for Swin, the third one for Sha, and the fourth, well, for me. Mine is not enough for me to eat, so let me eat Swin's piece. To really quench my thirst, I think eating another piece is all right. So let me eat the shark piece. He ate that piece. So then there was only Tang's piece left. He held it up, put it down, held it up again, and finally couldn't help but eat the last piece. Bajie, Bajie! Zhu Bajie heard someone calling him, and he listened carefully. It was Song Kong. It turned out that after Sun Wukong picked fruits from the South Sea and came back, he saw Zhu Baji eating the watermelon, but he said nothing and kept secretly watching on the cloud. I ate a whole watermelon by myself. If Sun knew about it, he would definitely tell Tang, and it would be awful. Hey, hey, Baji, Baji, where are you? Far away, there came the calling of the Sun Wukong again. Zhu Baji hurried through the watermelon skins far away. Baji, what are you doing? Nothing, nothing. Let's go back and find Tang. After taking a few steps, Zhu Baji fell and his face became swollen. He looked down and found that he slipped on the watermelon skin he had thrown. Some lazy guy threw those watermelon skins, causing you to fall down. Never mind, it didn't hurt. I think I'm going to teach him a lesson. All right, I need to go to heaven. You go find Tang, and I'll come back soon. Sun Wukong left by the Jindo cloud. Zhu Baji was afraid to fall again, so he walked carefully, step by step. What's wrong with these watermelon peels? What bad luck! I need to be careful. As Zhu Baji thought about it, he suddenly slipped and fell again. Ouch! Ouch! Zhu Baji got up angrily, then picked up the watermelon peel and threw it forward really hard. Ouch! My butt! It's so painful to fall three times on the way. I don't want to fall anymore. As Zhu Baji thought of it, he fell heavily on the ground and could no longer get up. When Tang and Sha saw Baji coming back with a bloody nose and a swollen face, they asked him what happened. I shouldn't have eaten the whole watermelon by myself. I fell four times on the way. The words of Zhu Baji made everyone laugh.